Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, September 29th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray and hot weather, record temperatures, that's the main story. We'll look at another Category 5 hurricane in the uh, Atlantic, but uh, no threats for any tropical activity our way anytime soon. These are Saturday highs across Alabama. 95 here at Birmingham, that uh, was a record for the date, and uh, as was the 97 at Montgomery, but hot temperatures all across the area. 94 to Anniston, 94 in Tuscaloosa, 95 in Alabaster, 94 down in Alex City. Don't look for that to be changing anytime soon. We're going to end September on the really, really warm side over uh, really nearly four inches or four degrees Celsius above normal. So um, as you can tell, it's uh, it's been a hot September for sure. And um, it shows there in the daily temperature departures uh, only uh, a little bit at the front of the month and um, right there around the uh, 5th. Uh, was it cooler than normal in Alabama? No rainfall yesterday for the most part. A few spotty isolated showers. It'll be the same thing kind of today. And the rainfall department's getting a little disturbing. This is the last 90 days. 3.9 inch deficit uh, at Birmingham. And uh, that's fairly typical uh, across here. That's resulted in uh, fairly significant drought conditions now. Over 80% of the state is now at least abnormally dry. We've got a bullseye of extreme drought uh, and severe drought there in uh, parts of Shelby and um, Chilton counties extending up to right over my house. It's always the way it works. And one part of Jefferson County is going to be right over my house. This is uh, what's going to keep us uh, warm and dry, hot and dry over the next uh, five to six days. A big uh, abnormal ridge of high pressure. I guess I shouldn't say abnormal, I'll say anomalous. Unusual. Uh, we're looking at um, heights over Alabama in the 597 decameter range. If this were July, I mean, we would be, uh, you know, putting some 105, 107 degree temperatures on the board, uh, possibly breaking all time records. And as it is, we'll break some uh, all time records for October as uh, we go into the first week. Now, here's today a few isolated showers showing up across the Tennessee Valley. High pressure ridge continues to build over Alabama on Monday and then Tuesday we might see a few showers popping up with the extreme heating uh, you know we're calling for temperatures on Tuesday you know they might be actually might be a little lower um, if the rainfall actually happens uh, we're calling for a daytime high on Tuesday around 95 in Birmingham that would break the record uh, the 97 that we're calling for on Monday would break the record uh, 96 today is probably going to tie the record at, at Birmingham, but of course uh, we've got all those temperatures on the blog so you can, can follow along at home um, And as we play record heat bingo. This is Thursday though. Front starts to um, move into Alabama as the ridge breaks down. Um, some isolate, or well, I guess we'd say scattered showers over the northern part of the state, but if this thing slides through here Thursday night, early Friday morning, we may almost get no rainfall in central Alabama, and that is not good news. Now, there are significant model differences. The GFS bringing this in on Thursday night and Friday. Um, the European is much later than that. It waits until Sunday, and uh, timing would play a lot. Of course, this you know, it's just not going to have much to work with in the way of moisture, no matter how you slice it. But um, So don't look for any relief. I think we're talking less than a half inch of rain easily more like a quarter or a third of an inch if we're lucky. And then by Saturday, high pressure is building again over the eastern United States. At least it'll be a little cooler. Uh, we'll see highs over the weekend, you know, 80, 84 degrees. Uh, that's much, much better morning lows in the lower 60s. Uh, quite nice, but then we'll ramp back up in that following week. Uh, middle 80s for daytime highs, overnight lows in the upper 60s. Now, voodoo territory, we've got another week, Saturday, October 12th, another front sliding down into Alabama, uh, but no significant relief in the temperature range. I do note, uh, the, these are GFS readings right here. Um, you can see they're high through Thursday. They drop off after the front passes through. Um, this is at Birmingham, of course. Southern parts of the area will still have record temperatures on Friday. Uh, but getting better for everyone for the weekend and then uh, still warmer than average in that following week. 
I do note though that it out about 10 days on the European these numbers uh, are radically different and much cooler so we'll hope for that last night Hurricane Lorenzo uh, strengthened rapidly over the North Atlantic and uh, became a category 5 hurricane it is now the strongest storm this far north and east uh, in the North Atlantic um, it's going to be vamoosing off to the northeast here over the next couple of days should continue here near category 5 strength today major hurricane status through Monday night um, gradually weakening as it goes through time becoming extra tropical um, by late Wednesday night into Thursday and look it's making landfall in Ireland is a powerful uh, extra tropical storm so its next stop will be Galway we'll um, just um, brush the Azores there on Tuesday night could see some tropical storm conditions there but I think the center remains well to the west of them but uh, the uh, lovely island of Ireland uh, will deal with this storm uh, winds of 70 miles an hour of course flooding rains all sorts of problems for Wednesday and Thursday well that's your weather video for this Sunday the 9th James will be back with two days tomorrow we'll have notes on the blog of course got to be back next Saturday and I'll sit here next uh, Sunday hoping to have some better news in the uh, old heat department but till then as I always tell you keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.